Martha, I'm at the library. Now for the summer reading top 10. What's a party if you don't send out invitations? Just before the magic happens, we hit the streets. From school visits to promotional videos with original characters, such as the boar. Getting the word out. Is number 10. 10. Who are you? I am the boar. The boar. A grumpy character whose only goal was to convince kids that summer reading was boring. Watching paint dry is much better. Summer is the best time of the year. I shall stop you. Summer is not for fun. Reading is not fun. In the end, the teens figured out that the boar was not worth listening to and that joining the summer reading program was a great way to have fun. We'd like to think that we convinced the boar that reading during the summer wasn't all that boring, but the jury's still out on that one. Summer reading. Yay. Number nine. What would summer reading be without the prizes? And this year we had some great ones, all purchased by the friends of the Jefferson Public Library. <laughs> Models, are you ready? We had backpacks and yard signs for everyone who completed the program. Weekly drawings for Barnes & Noble gift cards. And 19 lucky winners received the grand prize, a gift card prize pack. Summers at the library are all about having fun. Whether you're reading or enjoying a performance, having fun is number eight. <laughs> eight. Fun ran rampant this summer with dancing, flipping out with Coach Mike, and just good times. We shook the sillies out. Come on, are you talking about? and jammed with the week. Fun was building all summer long. Summer reading brings out the kid in all of us, and that's why fun is number eight. This summer at the library, things got a little wild. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Animals is number seven. Seven. This summer, we had special visits from the Zoomobile, Aquavan, the Bugmobile, Wetland Express, Wind in My Feathers, and many others. Kids and their parents got up close and personal, touching and learning about everything from tarantulas to baby alligators, hedgehogs to raptors, and spiders to chickens. These programs were not only educational, but very entertaining and fun. Leaping lizards, it's easy to see how animals made its way onto our top 10 list. Creativity was everywhere this summer, and kids were cutting it up. Number six on the countdown is crafts. Six. Cutting, pasting, and creating. Three words to describe the terrific craft activities that were available this summer at our libraries. Whether they were making photo frames, bookmarks, or paper plate pizzas, crafts provided a way for kids and teens to be creative and pass the time on those hot summer days. These special activities cut and pasted their way onto our countdown at number six. The library 
Montessori was rocking this summer with tons of fun programs for teens. From movie making to magicians. And don't forget video games. Teen programming is number five. Five. Boredom was not allowed at the library this summer. Our libraries featured exciting programs to help teens beat the summer doldrums. From gaming tournaments to movie editing classes. Teens got a chance to go beneath the surface and express themselves. Who knew the library was such a happening place? I came to move, 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 move. Get out the way of me and my crew. That's why team programming is number five. Just what the folk came here to do, 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 do. Yep, yep, is all of our libraries had special performers all summer long. There were fairy tale characters, magicians, clowns, and even puppets. Did someone say puppets? Hey there! Puppets are the best! Puppets are boring. Who invited this guy? Well, special performers are number four. Four. Special performers serve two purposes that help the summer reading program to be successful. Great names like Cinderella and Irwin Roy's The World's Smallest Magician bring in the crowds. Once the audience is in place, they show off their talents and grab the kids' attention and imaginations. During the show, they incorporate the importance of reading and using the library into everything that they do. Take your magic wand. Wave it and abracadabra, special performers are number four. From big names like Phil Melosa and Dave James to our very own talented staff, Al and Jennifer, we brought music to the masses all summer long. Live music is number three. Wow! Three. How do you kick off summer reading? With a party attended by over 1,500 people, of course. Library Palooza is number two. two. Ole, 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 ole. On June 1st, we started the summer with a bang, with two huge parties at the East and West Bank Regional Libraries to encourage kids and teens to sign up for the summer reading program and learn about the exciting events taking place all summer long. On the East Bank, we got to pet zoomobile animals, walked like Egyptians, made crafts, and ran relay races. On the West Bank, we went medieval with sword fighting, archery, medieval crafts, and face painting. So clearly, the East Bank was more fun. The West Bank was the place to be. East Bank. West Bank. No matter what side of the river you're on, Library Palooza was a ton of fun. Now we're down to number one. There's one thing more important than all the programs and all of the prizes. One thing that keeps kids coming back to the library during the summer and throughout the school year. One thing that unites everything we do. Reading. Reading is number one. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the library. Was interrupted, man. What I gotta do to try to make them say? 